G'day guys and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Okay, so we've got a few jobs to get on with today. First of all, I've actually mowed, off camera I've mowed and tedded field number 8. So I'm going, oh, I need to give them some grain too, don't I? Uh, yes, we'll have to do that as well. Um, also, before I move on, off camera I bought the Massey Ferguson 3080. I'm going to use this tractor, it can have a front loader as well, but I'm going to use this tractor primarily for towing my header trailer, as the header doesn't want to stay on the trailer if there's no um, uh, tractor hooked up to it. The header tends, or it doesn't come right off, but it tends to move, and then you can't lock it back on, and then if you move it, it once you hook it up to move it, it falls off, and oh, so this is just going to be a dedicated header trailer tractor this one um, until such time I decide to change it or or get rid of it or do something else but anyway moving on I'll go around and get the cat tractor and, I'll, uh, and hook up the wind rower of course I've got to find what I've done with the wind rower um, now where where did I leave that? Oh, I think I know where it is. Oops. Okay. We'll go and hook that up and I'll head that up to Oh, also I I done f yeah, I better explain. Um Okay, so I've picked up the straw off of field 13. And I've put it into the pit. I've all, I've started um I've clamped it or compacted it and it's now uh, fermenting so it's only at 5% so that's on the go and it's how, oh it doesn't say how full it is I think it was like about 52% full at the time um, but yeah so that's all been done I was going to film that um, picking up that straw off of field 13 but then I decided no I'm not going to do that since I already did two episodes of it last week um, doing field 11 so um, so we do so I thought well I, I've done enough of that so for the time being so we'll just go and get this rake or wind rower however you, whichever you want to refer to it as uh, I'm not going to actually do it myself I've just got a course play set up to do it so I'll get course play to do that I'm actually gonna go I've already started on it um, cultivating field number 13 yep, it's in there so I've already started to cultivate field 13 I've only just done a headland and started on the second Started on the second headland. Um, basically, the tether had finished, so I brought it back, and I thought, okay, I'll st I'll start my episode from there. Oh, yeah, about there. We'll do about from this point. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna put do the bailing on camera or just do this, leave it, and then just bail it all off camera. Okay, so we will head up to field number eight. Um, so, hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope you are enjoying my videos on Thornton Farm and also my little town series. Um, so, if you like like my videos, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you if you if you wish to um, leave a comment, also leave a comment. Okay, so originally I did mo I mowed this in um, in swath well, with the swath mode on, and I was going to bale it just straight grass, but I just can't. It just doesn't want to do that. It just seems to glitch out and go fun, get, get all funny and crash the game 
so I have to actually tether it but then again in saying that I can bale up straight grass for round bales so <laughs> go figure um, I didn't put that in a course yet either. So put it into there okay so we'll just course there So we'll leave him. We'll leave him to do his thing, and we'll find. No, what's that one? No. Ah, also I've packed up my bales, so they're all packed up in the shed there, nice and neat. Um. Ah, well, he's a bit crooked, but. I am going to sell this vent to uh, when I can afford to. I was going to sell it last week, but of course other things came up and so actually you know, I've done two headlets around so far. So we'll get this done. So the, the tractor that I'm planning on uh, replacing, that will be replacing this fent, is actually a John Deere 8530. Uh, you can buy it's, you can buy the dual wheels to go with it. Uh, I have used the mod before; it's a nice mod. And yeah, I'm not really that happy with this fent like it's a good mod but I'm not really happy with it it does move it does move around a bit After, once you save your game and that you come back in and it's in a, it can be a, moved a little bit in a different location it's not too bad not, not as bad as some tractors So I'm not going to film all. Of, I'm not going to record all of this either. I'll just do so much. I'll pause it and come back to it. So, and we also need to cultivate field number uh, was it eleven needs doing as well. So I'll have to get in and get that done. Okay, so you can see we're um, slowly getting through this field. Um, yeah, it's not going to take t too long. Uh, it is nice to use some bigger equipment for a change. Obviously, we could probably use use the bigger cultivator, but and we will do um, it down the track when I can afford to get it. Uh, I think I'm not sure how the Yeah, it looks like he's going up and down the field now. So, the other day I was, uh, I think it was yesterday, I was watching some um, gameplay footage for Farming Simulator 17 from Gamescom. And I must say, I'm really excited about seven, uh, FS17 coming out now. It looks like we're going to have quite a bit to do. Um, as the, the foot, uh, the footage was from another YouTuber. I think it must be. Where was Gamescom in Germany? I think it was. Uh, I'm not ex entirely sure, but but yeah, uh, some of the gameplay, some of the gameplay I was watching looked pretty good. Um, one part there, 
you could actually drive um, the train around on the tracks and all that. Pretty much take a tour of the map via tra in the um, driving the train on the track. So obviously you're limited to where only where the tracks go. And um, looks like we have to. Um, at least all the animals I see, all the animals now do need to have water. They ha you w we will have to give them water. Um, there's also setting in some of the settings that I've seen that we can have auto start for your tractor on or off. So you could literally, if you turn it off, I, I'm taking it, that'll be manual start. Same with, um, oh, there's another one, too, some others too. It was looking very good some of that footage uh, yeah it's just so, so much oh we can pick objects up and carry them around but I th think that was already known anyway but it was good to see that some of the footage I think the person that was playing tr tried to pick something up and it just came up with a message saying no this object is too heavy so you couldn't pick it up I see we have to manually strap down the bales on the trailer which is good at least the bale trailers will have a locking script on them. So, oh, she's getting through this field pretty quick. So, I, the, one of the other options was um, uh, what was it called? Stop and go. On or off. Um, so, I'm taking that's the. Uh, with your accelerator and brake pedal instead of just having like farm sim where you just use your um, accelerator to go forward and then use your brake to go to um, brake and actually reverse I think you can turn that off and actually have to select your gear forward and reverse what I what I could understand of it but yeah um, after watching it I was just so excited about the game I just can't wait for it to come out now Oh, this is so good. It just, I was just so envious. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, I can see the course play for the uh, for the cat. So up on field eight there. So he's just about finished by the looks of it. I'm just about finished here. Okay, so what is oh, I might just record this last little bit. Oh, my line's not very straight, but that's probably just because of the shape of the field. From from your third person view, it, it does make the job a lot easier than from in cab. And at least I can look around. Oh yeah, there's our there's the cat over there. So this is just the in-game cultivator. What's, what is this? 8 metres, I think. I think it's 8 metres. So, also, I should probably give those chickens some grain, too. I think that's. If once I'm done here, I think that's something I'll have to do. Um, and, we'll, and we might head down and start on field number. 11 cultivating a bit of a frame rate some frame rate loss back then 
don't know whether that I don't I don't know whether that comes out on camera or not, like on film or video, or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, I experienced the frame rate loss in that, but looking at my uh, little hub for the um, Acrylis Action, it's pretty much sitting at 30, 31 frames per second. I don't even think it moves. So I don't know whether it records that or not. So. Okay, so I might actually I might pause the recording for a second and I'm gonna get a screenshot. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're back going again. I think I just took like about ten screenshots just to make sure I get it off. Well I did this time, it normally comes out alright. I normally only take one or two. But Okay, oh now, did I? I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, sheep. Did I give them feed last time? <sighs> no, I didn't. Oh, the poor sheep are going hungry. I better go and we better give them some food too. Oh, actually, it was the chickens? Yeah, they needed some wheat. There's nine eggs to be collected. Um, oh, what? I didn't even give the cows anything. What did I give food to then? Must have been just the pigs and beef. Oh, it was. Oh, okay, so I better go and fix those animals up after I finish here. Also, our cat tractor is actually finished wind rowing up there, but. I've just stopped him, turned it off. For now he can just stay there. So I might bail that field up off camera or I'll just leave it till the next episode. I'm not sure yet. I might I might leave it till tomorrow's episode. Um, I, I won't like I won't record all of it but So yeah, we better. I better give those animals some feed because I completely forgot. So I'll give them. I'll give the cows a couple of bales of of hay. I'll give the sheep a, um, a bale or two of hay. Depends on how many they're going to need. If I don't give them any, any food, they're not gonna, their productivity is not going to be very good. So, yeah, this field hasn't taken me long to do at all. It's really, it's literally been like that, and I feel like I've only, I feel like I only just started doing it, and now I'm pretty much finished. Just one more pass after this, just to finish off the last bit, and that's it. So I won't. I'll leave field 11. I might do it off. Actually, no. I will record field 11, and I might time lapse it. That might be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I might do. I might just film it and time lapse it. for tomorrow's episode, yeah, th actually that is a good idea. So the start of tomorrow's episode may be the time lapse of me cultivating the field, or or since I recorded this one, should I not? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to say what people actually want to watch. No, I'll do it. I'll do it off camera. I might time lapse the seeding of it instead. Okay. So let's wait for that to fold up. Okay.
Okay, so we'll just head back to the farm. Let's go back in cab. A little bit bouncy through there. So we'll just put this away. Actually, this track, I should really wash some of these machines too. So I'll just leave that hooked up to it because we're going to need it again to do the um, field number 11 and I'll get the John Deere. No, actually, I'll get the telehandler. I'll find it. Here we go. Grab two bales. And we'll just give them I'm sure I give them feed. Oh, did I give them straw? It might have been straw that I give them. I can't remember now. Yeah, I give them straw. It must have been the straw that, that I give them. Okay, so we'll get this done. Just give them two for now to get them started. Spread the top one, and we'll spread the bottom one. That looks like silage more than grass. Anyway, actually, how much do they actually need? This one normally tells you how much they need. Oh, 42,000 litres. She's eight. That uh, gives them. Oh, uh, give them another two, I guess. Okay, guys, I'll just give two more um, ba um, bales to the cows, so I'll give them four in total. I've just grabbed another two and I've headed down here to the sheep yard. They only actually need 6,000 litres, but we'll give them the two. It'll overfill their, I think it's here. It'll overfill their, their um, feed trough, but that's okay. Um, so we'll give them these two bales, and that will t should do them for quite a long time. Well, for the six days anyway. So now, okay, that's them done. So that should put their productivity now up to uh, 110 percent, or whatever it goes to. Um, water fill level is well, it's overfilled as well. Uh, and the chickens, we need to give. some uh, wheat wheat, and of course we still have to give the cow silage and mixed rations so once that silage pit is um, fully fermented I will load that feed trough up with silage and we also what else we want to do 
Yeah, just the chickens now. So their productivity should go up, which will be good. So, okay. Um, I'll see you back at the main farm. Okay, so we'll just grab a little bit of wheat. Won't need much of that. How much did they need, actually, before I do that? Chickens would want... <laughs> 93. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's only going to be a tiny little bit. It's, got, it's not even going to cover the bottom of this trailer. It's not even going to put a... <laughs> it's going to be a little speck on the bottom of this trailer. Okay. Uh, whoop. Stop it. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped 2,800 litres, 2,018 litres in there. Ah. Yes, how am I going to get into them? And we'll also collect their eggs as well. This trailer's really too big for this. Ah, um, I know. I know what I'll do. Open this gate. Let's drive forward here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Oops. That was hardly worth it. Anyway, I'll just grab the eggs while I'm here. So instead of having all the eggs scattered all over the ground, I don't even think these got collisions on. This hen house just um, gathers them all up in the one spot, so it just makes it nice and easy to collect them. There we go. So I'm sure plenty of you have probably seen that mod before. I think I got that one from, I think it was from Maru's. I think it was Maru's website that I got that from. I think I, there should be a... Uh, no, I don't know if I've put a link for it. I'll have to put a link in the description. For that, I'm pretty sure that I probably haven't. So, that just keeps the eggs all in the one spot. Instead of having to run around the yard looking for them all. So, when we get enough eggs, we'll have to sell them. Now, can I... And... Okay. Okay, guys. Um, let's pull over here. I think I made a mess of it. But Okay guys, that's I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the episode, hit that like button. If you wish to see more, also go ahead and subscribe. And if you wish to leave a comment, that's fine as well. If You, you can um, leave a comment uh, if you like the video or anything like that. Or if you have any suggestions. Um, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode, which will be back on Thornton. And I'll have to work out what we're going to do. I know there's a few jobs that still need doing, so I will see you then. Okay, bye for now.